make sure you have a tutor who has the imagination, the wherewithal, the resourcefulness to keep the conversation going. Hi there, Steve Coffin here. Today I want to talk about how to get the most out of your online language tutor. Remember, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, and if you follow me on a podcast service, please leave a review. So, in an earlier video, I said that I'm going to work harder on my output. I'm going to, you know, work deliberately with my Persian tutor uh, twice a week. We're going to have deliberate subjects of conversation. I'm going to prepare for them and we're going to see how that goes over the next three months. I'm particularly looking at how to effectively use Link and the content at Link and the functionality at Link to integrate that with working with an online tutor. So this got me to thinking about how to get the most out of a tutor, online tutor. Remember, there are more and more online tutors. There are online tutors for every language. You can find them at sites like italki or Verbling. You can find them independent uh, online tutors. There are lots of them. So it's becoming, uh, if not the mainstream compared to say language schools, more and more common as a way of learning a language. So how do we benefit the most? Obviously, we want an online tutor primarily to have someone to speak to. Uh, remember that, that the, and possibly to explain the grammar, but to me that's not so important. I can find lots of explanations of grammar. I don't need the teacher to walk me through the grammar. Um, I'm also somewhat skeptical, skeptical as to how much benefit there is in corrections. It can help, but it's not necessary. We do need the tutor for speaking. Because eventually, to speak well, you have to speak a lot. But, I mean, unless you get five hours a day with a tutor, or even three hours a day with a tutor every day, which can get quite expensive, you know, uh, in fact, you have to have a strategy where you're mixing the tutor in with your other activities in order to come up with something that is cost efficient and time efficient. Now, I always get back to this idea that to speak well, you have to speak a lot. Obviously, if you're in the country, if you have friends, if you go out with friends or you're working in an office where everybody speaks the target language, that's an ideal scenario and you're going to learn to speak more quickly. And this was my situation in Japan uh, where I did a lot of speaking in Japanese, but I still did a lot of input. Okay, And so I think the secret in terms of working with a tutor is to mix in the input with the hours that you spend with the tutor. And quickly, some thoughts on, on what I expect of a tutor. I expect the tutor to lead the conversation. I don't want, and I have had tutors where if there's a lull in the conversation, my tutor, most often a female, she's waiting for me to say something. I struggle to speak the language. I'm not going to say anything. The tutor has to keep the conversation going. So that's number one. Make sure you have a tutor who has the imagination, the wherewithal, the resourcefulness to keep the conversation going. When there's a love lull, she comes up with a new subject, a new question, something to keep the conversation going. So I think that's number one. Number two, make sure you have a tutor who is encouraging. Uh, I have had tutors who make a face when I make a mistake. That's not very good. You have to want to get together with your tutor. You want to feel encouraged when you interact with your tutor, even if you haven't improved that much if the tutor tells you you have improved that's encouraging so you want to make sure you have a tutor who encourages you and you enjoy being with that tutor very very important another thing is i always insist that my tutor gives me a report with 10 or 15 words or phrases that i struggled with and ideally that and they put this in a say a word document and ideally and without any english you know just the target language and then they record this. So that then creates a lesson for me in Link, a lesson that I can go back to six months later. Uh, all of these conversation reports become part of a course, which I can go back to regularly and review the words that were important to me at a certain stage, which I wanted to use and maybe didn't use correctly. Another thing that we're now starting to do with, with my tutor twice a week, which is you know economical because twice a week, that's you know, it costs money per hour to be with a tutor, but she has me focused on specific topics. So we are staying with economics. I wanted to move to another subject and she said, no, 
We want to stay with economics. We're going to stay with one subject for a while so that you get used to that vocabulary. And she then sends me links to articles in Persian uh, where I come across this kind of vocabulary. And so I become familiar with it. So here again, uh, she is kind of directing me and keeping me focused. Uh, from my side, because I have two sessions a week with her, I am motivated to improve. Uh, most of my learning at Link is, is by myself. Okay, so I, I'm motivated. But when I know that I'm going to be discussing economics again for the third time in a row with my tutor, I want to do better than the last time. So that is quite motivating. So the tutor not only is an opportunity for me to, to try to use what I've been you know, inputting into my brain, but I'm also motivated. I want to do better. And if I'm lucky, she'll tell me I did better, even if it isn't true. But all of that contributes to keeping me going, sending me back with more enthusiasm to my input activities. Now, obviously, in the final, ana final analysis, to be a, a you know very proficient speaker of Persian, let's say, I would I would have to spend a lot of time speaking with Iranians in in Persian in Farsi. Uh, but in this way that I work with, with my tutor, I'm building up my potential, my capability. And I notice now that I understand more than I did before. And if I understand more, I will eventually be able to speak better. I won't be able to remember all the words, but I will gradually be able to speak better. And I have had this experience in preparation for a trip to the Czech Republic, uh, Romania, Greece. I always step up my interaction with my tutors to two or three times a week before going over there. And in fact, I sometimes try to arrange for tutors, uh, as I did again with Ukrainian, interaction with people while I'm over there because it's sometimes difficult to uh, interact meaningfully with the locals. But I, in any case, you have to prepare for it. And that's why I think depending on your goals, it's worthwhile having a deliberate strategy in how you want to work with your online tutor, because it's a tremendous opportunity that we have today, which didn't exist 20 years ago, to find people from the country where the language is spoken, people who have different personalities, so you can have more than one tutor. And all of that helps keep your, you know, largely, in my case, input based language learning moving forward. So just some suggestions on how to work with a tutor. And I'll leave you with a couple of videos I did on a similar subject uh, a while back just to see if my views have changed. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.